Just apply it and this is my vocal maintenance guide. One, be relaxed. Otherwise your larynx will produce a tight, uncomfortable sound. Um, keeping your larynx harm free is learning good vocal techniques. A single strong scream um, can be enough to damage the vocal fold tissue and is not easy to be fixed. Um, breathe. Allow yourself to breathe deeply to ensure you're generating enough volume, making sure you're not singing from your throat and using your diaphragm. Um, uh, three, I think. Um, when in a loud environment, people tend to push their voice so they can hear themselves. But pushing your vocals is always fatiguing and can be damaging. Um, to resolve this issue, you should wear earplugs. Um, they're a singer's best friend other than water and water's my next next bullet point <laughs> five water preferably room temperature um, and plenty of it drinking water that's ice cold can tighten your vocal cords um, and cause strain within singing but if you drink hot water I mean it's great after a show when you're relaxing and winding down your vocals hot water honey and lemon but before a show, um, do not, because it can also loosen, well, it, it will loosen your vocal cords um, so much that you could possibly do a wobbly or bum note. And no one wants that. Um, six, stand upright. Shoulders down as it will improve your breath support. As a collapsed physical posture um, compresses, a, it compresses the rib cage and disables the ability to inflate the lungs, generating a lot of tension. Um, stop smoking, or at least cut down, that's what I'm trying to do, um, because your daily intake obviously will damage and affect your vocal cords. Um, stay away from excessive consumption of tea, coffee, alcohol and fizzy drinks, as they can dehydrate you. Like I said, drink lots and lots of water, always, every day, every time of day. <laughs> um, eating spicy foods late at night can cause an uh, acid reflux. Um, the next day resulting in your vocal cords being inflamed, no one ever wants that. And also dairy products, dairy products um, can result in a production of mucus buildup. And that's probably horrible, well it is horrible, I've had it before. Um, but last but not least, uh, vocal warm ups. Every time you sing, um, have a performance, a music rehearsal with your band, any time when you're on your own just jamming. Always, always do warm-ups. Um, if not, this could result to no, n nodes or nodules, I'm not too sure which one they're called, um, on your vocal vocal cords. Um, if these, if, and if this, if you ever did get that, <laughs> it's hard to get them taken away. Um, and when they do, it, it's normally, it leads you not being able to sing. And being a singer and that being our talent you need you, you need it don't you really um so vocal warm-ups are the most important you need to do simple scales like um just and and it helps in general just doing simple scales the the c major scale for example um i do my vowels i think vowels are a great way to uh, loosen your jaw as well um so you can uh, you can hear and i can pronounce it my words better for you um, so we'll have a go at this. It's A's, so we do A A A A A A A of it um, and also a very nice t technique and also um, to improve on your range uh, is a siren um, it's when you grit your teeth and you make noise with like a siren you go mm -hmm. it's a sort of a humming noise um, but normally if you keep going up in the scale doing a siren um, you'll hear a tiny little break and in that break